sleep. Okay, I'm now going to demonstrate an exercise to help with the thoracic sling. So what do we mean by that? The thoracic sling is referred to as this area of your horse. Okay, unlike humans, horses don't have a collarbone. So their range of movement through their legs is much different to a human. They have much more muscle attachment, ligament attachment than bony attachment, which is why there's probably a lot of girthing issues and saddle issues because there's much more muscle to work with on a horse than if we compare it to a human. So to help keep this area of your horse's body strong and supported, you can do some testing exercises. The first one we call is an abdominal lift. So one hand is placed just on the head collar right here. The other hand, if you make your hand into almost like a bit of a claw, and apply a gentle pressure where the girth would sit. So if you run your hand down underneath the horse's midline, you'll feel almost like two chicken-like breasts. And if you just apply gentle pressure upwards, whilst applying downward pressure on the head collar, that encourages the horse to lift up through their core. Now Feather is a youngster, so with her I'm not expecting too much lift. You might only see about half a centimeter. So just very carefully watch this part of your horse's back. Safety precaution here, when you're going underneath the horse's belly, watch out that their back end doesn't kick out because they can be quite sensitive underneath their stomach. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. And down, good girl. Okay, so that's your first testing exercise. The next one is really good for those horses that are quite sensitive when you girth them up. And if you see, or sorry, if you feel that they're quite heavy in the contact again, or if they're leaning in your hands or they're leaning on the right shoulder compared to the left shoulder. So it's called the wither rock. So you're gonna place one hand over here. Again, there's a bone here called the sternum. If you just place your hand lightly on there, the other hand, if you make it into a shape like this and cup the withers, so the withers is the highest point of the spine over here. Very gently, I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure and bring the withers towards me, and then I'm gonna push the withers away from me. Now from the front, you should be able to feel these muscles here, which are the pectorials like us, are just gonna move left and then right. Good girl. I'm just going to ask her to lift her head up for me. Good girl. Okay, here we go. Very gentle pressure in the beginning. Almost like you're swaying in a tree. There. Push. Release. Push. Release. Good girl. And if you just stand back and actually watch their expression on their face, they normally let you know if they're enjoying it. Good girl. I would recommend doing that five times to the left and then five times to the right. 